Hey, what's up everybody? It's Luke, and you're watching Luke the Gathering. Thanks for checking out the channel. It's, again, Friday. We had Friday Night Magic, and it's Outlaws of Thunder Junction, and we are in week number two of drafting. Week one was uh, the sealed deck pre-release kits, then we had our first draft last week, today was our second draft of the set. Great set, a lot of fun so far. This week I was 2 and 1, so I was really happy with the result. Um, <clears throat> and what do I have to say? I drafted Selesnya, green and white. Um, I think it was just sort of a medium Selesnya deck. Not the greatest, and I think it's because a lot of people have been drafting green. Green is really strong in this, and so anyone who's watched a draft guide or has any idea about the set... You're going to want to be in green. A lot of people in my pod were in green, including myself. But thankfully, I don't think people were really in white. And so I was able to draft a good white pool, a great green-white pool for my deck. And it made a difference. Went 2-1. and one. Um, the, the deck that I lost to was a 5-color or 4-color well, Deserts deck. And they played a lot of great cards. Um, and it was really hard to overcome them. They had deserts do like four of them. And uh, they were just able to take on everything I had. And I think, um, you know, you don't really struggle usually with creatures in white-green. There's tons of really amazing creatures. I didn't really get them. I had one really pretty good creature and that was it. Um, but my suite of removal was amazing. So that's what really held me in the game uh, in all the games that I played. Really relying on the removal to just get past things that they had. Um, and for the efforts, we got three packs. We're going to talk about uh, the deck, and then we're going to open up those packs and see what we get. Hopefully we get something good. Also show you the sideboard um, of cards that I drafted. So without any more wasting time, let's check out the deck. Okay, well, before we get to the actual deck, we'll check out the sideboard. These are the cards I drafted, um, but didn't put in the deck. So... Another round, this is a rare, you know, if there was nothing I would, could take in the pack and there was a rare, I would take the rare. Um, another round is in my colors, but I don't think I could use this effectively for anything that I had. It would also be very mana intensive, and so I ended up not using that. Yeah, but this is actually, this is not a card. I had a black card, the one that when you sacrifice creatures, you get to draw those cards. I actually traded somebody that card who wanted it for this card, so that's why that card's there. We had Pillage the Bog as a black-green rare. Tiny Bones joins up as another rare. And then the true side card, uh, side card Stagecoach Sentry, Armadillo, Gardener, and then just a slew of kind of random things. Uh, nothing really that great. We did get an art card as well. Okay, on to the deck proper. We have the Creosote Heath, which is great. These deserts are amazing. I really like them. Uh, green, white, and then it pings them for one, commits a crime. My deck wasn't a crime deck, so this didn't really have that aspect to it. But pinging for one is great. I also put the Sandstorm Virgin. Um, this was cool. I thought maybe I could use the target creature can't block this turn ability. Uh, I ended up not really having to use it, but... This was never a hindrance. This never comes in tapped or anything like that. And I've I always had enough. I mean, it's just straight two colors. My color, you know, needs were completely met. Armored Armadillo. I was, like, on the fence about this card. It's a very defensive card. But looking at the creatures in my deck, I really didn't have much going for me in terms of, like, greatness. So this was good. And I didn't really have anything fast either. So this is good just to hold things off. Also has Ward 1, which makes it really annoying. And late game, this actually punches for a pretty good amount. It's a 4-4 four, four, um, when you pay 4 for it. And so, and you can actually make it more than that, uh, but it gets really expensive um, above that. Frontier Seeker, I drew this card a lot. Um, the cool thing is it just doesn't just get Plains cards. It gets Mount creatures, too. And so... I actually, the first time I used it, I got a chance to get a mount creature, and the person was like, wait a minute, I think you can only get lands. They thought, because usually cards like this, you get lands. But I was able to get a mount creature, and that was great. 
Outlaw Medic is really cool. 1-3. Just a nice blocker. Something you can trade with. Gets you that one life for life link. Or it kind of just holds the fort by itself. I had two of them. Both are really good in the deck. Sterling Keykeeper I really like as well. 2 and tap it to tap a non-mount creature. Um, this is just nice to get, you know, big creatures out of the way or tap them down. Uh, very nice defensive card. So my deck is kind of slow. You can see there's some defensive cards here. I'm just trying to get them, you know, stalled a little bit before my deck can kind of get humming. Stagecoach Security. This was really nice. This actually was a finisher for me. When it ETBs, creatures get plus one, plus one, and vigilance to the end of the turn. You can also plot it for three and a white. A um, couple times I played this just to end the game. You know, I had enough creatures on board with the removal that I had. I wish I had more green creatures. I really didn't. People were taking them all the time. But I got the Free Strider Commando. Um, when you plot it and it comes in, um, it's a 5-5. Five five. If not, it's a 3-3. Three three. There are other ways to kind of cheat it in as well to make it a 5-5. Five five, but not from this deck. Vengeful Townfolk. Uh, this card never really got played, so I'm not going to talk about it. <laughs> Bridal Bighorn, this was cool. This is I was trying to find saddle cards, and it was actually kind of hard to do that. But this was nice, because it's Vigilance of 3-4, makes a 1-1 one, one sheep. Easy to saddle, saddle 2. And this made a big difference in the deck. So I was really happy with this card. In fact, it's a card that I pulled out using the Frontier Seeker when I had that chance. Holy cow, is really good. I mean, it gets you that 2 life uh, when ETBs, you can scry. It's flash and flying, and a lot of times I did flash it in. And it was a flyer, so other opponents just had a hard time blocking it. Ended up getting two of those. Really liked that. Um, probably even better was the Congregation uh, Griff, flying, and lifelink. And when you saddle it, it gets plus X plus X, where X is the number of mounts you control. And it counts itself. So it it's at the very least, it's a 2-5. Two, two at the least. And then I had another mount, so like the sheep was out. and So this was like a 3-6 which is really hard to kill. In fact, my opponent tried to play a combat trick that gave double strike, double blocked, but thankfully I had a, a card, a um, removal spell, that removed the one that was double striking, and that was the game right there. Miriam Heard Whisper. This is a really good card for mounts. Uh, really, really good card. Actually, it's a 3-2 already. Gives the mounts hexproof, and then when they attack, those mounts that get plus one, plus one counter. So, really sweet. Wish I had more mounts. This was a big rare that I got in green. Um, it's fine. It's actually really good. It's a two and two green. For It has flash as long as you control a desert. So I had two deserts in the deck. This never had a problem having flash. And I flashed it in actually a number of times. You're going to exile it from the graveyard to get a desert card. It's a 6-5 for four. I mean, give me a break. Rise of the Vermints. This actually never got played. And I don't even know if I had this in my hand ever. Take up the shield. Same thing. Didn't really ever get played. Thornado. I think this was good, actually. Destroy target creature with flying. Um, I didn't have a lot of reach going on, and so I was worried about flyers, and this card actually held its own. Save me. Ariette's Lullaby. Destroy tap creature. Gain two life. Love the gain two life. A little tacked on there. These are all the removal. I had a lot of removal. Mystical Tether. Just kind of locks them down. Clear shot. You get plus one, plus one. And you get to deal your power to them. And I had two buried in the gardens. And these were great. Um, these ramp you. They fix your mana. They get rid of a creature. There's not much more you can ask with these. I really love buried in the garden. And then lastly, path to exile. Um, oh my gosh. One mana. Instant speed removal is so good. This this was really great. This blew, blew out some battles. This stops some big attacks from happening. And for one mana, this is too good. Love Path Exile. I'm glad I drafted it. Okay, and here are the three packs. Let's go ahead and see what we get uh, when we open them. Sometimes you get lots of rares per pack. Um, and that's pretty cool to see sometimes. All right, we got, ooh, the Cac Tarantula or whatever. That's a great card. We got a Plains. Ankle Biter. We got Ride Down. Uh, Step Between Worlds. Not the best, really. And I think that's the only rare we're going to get. Yeah. The rest is just kind of foddery stuff. 
Snakeskin Veil, I wish that would, I had that. That's a pretty good card. And then la la la, I had that in the draft. But Snakeskin Veil has been really efficient. That pack was not that great. Uh, let's see, hopefully this is better. We got another art card. Kind of neat. Uh, Rhodid Canyon, Alchemist, Terminal Agony, Lila, Undefeated Slickshot. It's a rare, oh, nothing. Just a single rare pack here. Maybe some cards you could take in and throw from saddles. Great. But nothing to really write home about. Let's hopefully this see if uh, this third pack will get us anything great or not. We got a construct token. Uh, we got the planes, bighorn, skewer the critics, Kellen the kid, a mythic, nice. Be kind of fun to see if that works in a draft or not. And then I think that's it. Return the favor. Griff is nice. Lasso by the law is really good. Strix is good. I like the sentry. Saddles great. Tumbleweed rising good. So pretty good pack if you're gonna draft it. Uh, we'll do some draft packs later on in the season. But thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.